Ask Reddit by Prestigious Humor 872. What modern food trend can you not wait to die? Two ingredient desserts, with seven optional ingredients that appear once you read the actual recipe. Oh, and we didn't count 16 other things everyone has in their pantries. Food trucks that charge the same price as a premium restaurant but serve half the size on a floppy plate that I have to stand up to eat. Back in the day food trucks and carts were extremely cheap. Then people who owned restaurants started selling out of them and prices went up. Calling a slight alteration to recipe a hack. Adding parmesan cheese to your grilled cheese sandwich is not a hack. It's a minor recipe change. I simply hate the word hack. Please make it go away. If I'm on a website I'm only there to look at your menu. I'm not interested in starting an order before I've looked at the menu. No, I don't want to give you my zip code. Just give me your menu and some food pictures. And the prices and hours of operation. Fancy restaurants that say they serve street tacos and proceed to charge $18 for free. We call them street tacos, because that allows us to make them especially small. The stupid food wasting trends on YouTube and TikTok etc. Facebook keeps giving me these stupid videos where they're like I learned this in Nashville, or wherever, and they get a big baking pan and start like pulling hot dogs into pieces by hand and then put a couple raw chicken breasts in and then dump shredded cheese and a jar of mayo in and then a bunch of broken up noodles and dump milk over it all and shit like that. I can't figure if it's a joke, that just inst funny, or if it's serious. I don't get it either way. For some reason putting food in wine glasses. I don't mind a parfait or low trifle if it's at someone's house and they don't have specialty dessert cups for every possible thing, but yeah places that serve things like spaghetti in a glass? Weirdos. Also the trend of cutting a cake by shoving a wine glass into it? So stupid. Making all fast food buildings look like cookie cutter beige grey boxes. They all used to have their own distinct personalities. I read somewhere that the idea there is, it's much easier to unload a piece of real estate with a building on it if another chain can move into that building with relatively minor modifications. No business wants to be a this used to be a pizza hut. The videos of people making food in sinks. Gross. Everybody's so creative. Removed. Add gold foil to this. A tasteless garnish that simply makes a dish expensive. Any TikTok IG trend that makes life more difficult for fast food workers with overly complex orders or ordering stuff not on the menu or trying to one-up each other's orders etc. This reminds me of that family at the ice cream shop that sang their order. Food trucks. Weren't they supposed to serve cheaper food because of lower overhead? No brick and mortar? We have a lobster roll truck pulled by a Range Rover that shows up for lunch and charges $22 for one entree. Ridiculous. Food trucks have basically become a parody of themselves. In my area, it's legitimately cheaper to eat at a brick and amp, mortar restaurant, and the food is better. Tipping as an option before receiving good service. Deleted. Sweets on top of sweets. A milkshake with a donut, lollipop, and cupcake attached. For real. What's with the milkshakes with a piece of pie on top of it? Like damn what's wrong with people? I see these bakes on TikTok with a layer of cookie, layer of brownie, peanut butter, marshmallow, and chocolate. Why do people like overly sweet shit? I just went to a restaurant, not a fast food place, a sit down restaurant where you have to scan the QR code for the menu, then a screen pops up where you have to place your own order. No one comes to the table to answer questions, nothing. You place your order, a person comes by and throws your drinks at you. Then they swing by a while later and throw your food at you. That's all you see of them. You pay your bill on your phone, 
and are still expected to tip. This is something else. Holy crap. Restaurants serving food on cutting boards, shovels, paper, shells, or anything that is not an actual plate. Are you and plates? Yes, there is a subreddit for everything. Everything being called yuzu when they're really just using lemon. Or aioli for mayonnaise. Dump meals. Wash your goddamn plates so I don't have to scrub the table. WTF is a dump meal. Detox foods. Just eat food and let your liver do its damn job. Juice detoxes shit meter tears. Juice is so high in sugar. Just fucking drink water. Not food specifically, but related. I loathe first bite reactions on GIF recipes Instagram pages. Eyes rolled back, hand to mouth, fluttering lids, soft groan. Online recipes that I have to scroll for 5 minutes to find the recipe. I do not care, dear author, about how you discovered this meal or how my family will feel about it. I just need to know how long to roast the damn chicken. Pro life tip. If you can find a print button use that. Keeps the ads from making the screen jump around. Graphic designee menus that try to be creative but end up confusing. Also PDF only menus. I'd prefer a physical one. I'm with the boomers on this one. I ain't scanning shit on my phone because you don't want to pay to print anything. We are asking quite a lot out of cauliflower lately. There's an Indian place south of Edmonton in Ladakh, Alberta that has the most amazing honey chili fried cauliflower I have ever had, and I generally do not like cauliflower. It is sweet, spicy, crispy, and oh so delicious. Edit, here is a place if anyone else local is interested https colon slash slash indiagrillbistro.com The part where it costs so much to eat. Tipping for food I'm picking up at a counter. What am I tipping for? And if that tip is necessary for the employees to make a living, the restaurant just needs to pay their employees a higher wage and charge whatever they need to charge for the food in order to do so. But I'm tired of being asked to tip for every single thing. Just don't do it. Except they might judge you and press the no tip button on the screen. I tip well when dining in, 25% but won't tip on takeout. The term handcrafted, as in handcrafted burgers, handcrafted coffee drinks at a convenience stores, etc. Seeing handcrafted makes me want to gag. And small batch. I saw a bag of potato chips that said they were made in small batches and I thought I don't care how big or small the batch was. Just as long as they are good. Content creators squeezing and scraping the food. Looking directly into the camera, taking a ginormous bite, rolling their eyes, and going mmmmmm on so omigo eyes with their mouthful. Or the nail tapping on random ingredients. Not everything needs to be ASMR. Micro size portions made with overly pretentious food. Food that's designed to be food porn with way too many toppings thrown on it purely for the shock value. I just want a good, simple burger with a tasty patty. I don't want a flamin' hot but hold a straw 3000 with 3 types of meat, 3 types of cheese, and 3 types of sauce on it. Back in the day, oxtails and flank steaks were cheap cuts of meat. They are expensive as hell now. I'm just waiting for Vienna sausages to be turned into ironic hipster food. I'm starting to see tinned fish aka sardines, etc at hipster spots, Vienna sausages could be right around the corner. Hamburgers getting taller and taller. Like dude, what uses a 7 inch tall burger if I can't take a bite of it? The ASMR food videos. People filming themselves eating the food and smacking loudly into the mic. Deconstructed food. I did not pay you lots of money, so I get to essentially cook make my own food. 
a restaurant here in my town had deconstructed guacamole on their menu. It was a plate of sliced avocado. Anyone making these TikToks of rapid fire quick cut slow motion food flying through the air, camera shots inside pots, endless close ups of chopping onions, slamming pans around the place etc etc I'm looking for a recipe not an Aronofsky movie. Bloody Mary's garnished with celery, olives, 3 onion rings, a chicken wing, 2 bacon cheeseburgers and an 18 inches pizza with everything. Mukbang. It's gross. Wasn't there that YouTuber who started out doing a healthy version of that, before quickly switching over to fast food, immediately putting on a lot of weight, and seemingly becoming unhinged? Whatever happened to him? I remember seeing a lot of people speculating that he had a feeder humiliation kink, but then he seemingly just dropped off the radar. Inflation. Also, scissorflation. That's some bullshit. Truffle flavor everything. Real truffle can be wonderful but in moderation. Truffle oils in everything. Enough. Arc's tails being sold for outrageous prices since yuppies discovered them. People tagging food porn on IG. To piggyback on this, calling food sexy is really off-putting. Just please god stop calling your restaurant an eatery. This. Also provisions. Every Frito-Lay product does not need to be flamin' hot with lime. Is doesn't need to be $5.6 a bag either. Well, restaurant trend. I am sick of polished concrete floors, exposed brick and pipes and ordering at a counter. Can we bring back a nicer dining room, please? This was going to be mine. I'm tired of the cool warehouse aesthetic, but not just cause of the looks it's the acoustics. All of that stuff reverberates into a noisy mess. All the while you're sitting on hard ass seats. I imagine it's a bonus for the establishment because they just want you to eat and leave, but I hate it. Loud restaurants. Nit did an entire article on the acoustics of restaurants and they have on average become so loud that it's impossible to have a conversation, mainly because people are using cheap furniture that creates a cacophonous echo. Charcuterie boards that are like cheetahs, Hershey's kisses and marshmallows. That's not charcuterie. I'm not a charcuterie snob, but I at least need some cheese and crackers on that board. Science Y food. The bubbling guacamole, the floating cylinder of whatever you have to stab so the sauce pours onto your plate, the smoking mystery dome that has to be cracked open. Just bring me some real food, please. Crumble and other cookies that have no real substance. Just sweet on sweet on sweet. Yep. It's literally a circle of underbaked sugar. I don't think it's going anywhere, but putting bacon in on everything. I feel like there was this explosion around 2010 where bacon was just everywhere. I vividly remember Denny's having like a bacon celebration month that featured a maple bacon sundae. The world never went back. In 2010's bacon wasn't just a food. It was a personality. IG and TikTokers that just show you what they eat in a day. I hope the foam trend is over for good. Just gross. My answer is about the Italian food community. 1. Using pistachios and burrata everywhere. 2. Using carba crema, the sauce you make for carbonara, to do food porn videos. 3. Beef sushi, it sucks most of the time. 4. Dipping hamburger in 2 liters of cheese. And the most important one. 5. Italian commenting every fucking video saying this is not how it's done my grandma does it differently you just killed an Italian just shut up and let other people enjoy our fantastic cuisine.